Hello community, this is Tenacious, and I want to take a minute to teach you how to MIDI map your MIDI controllers to specific device parameters within various MIDI instruments today. Uh, I'm going to be using the Keith McMillan Cuneo control surface. It's, in my opinion, um, one of the coolest and most innovative controllers available on the market today. Uh, you can find it in the Loop Community Store, and I would highly encourage you to check it out, especially if you're a loop creator, DJ, music producer, or drummer that's doing live playback uh, from, from the stage. The first thing we want to do in Reason is we want to go to the preferences and make sure that our controller is inside of the uh, recognized inside of Reason as a control surface. In this case, you can see that the Cuneo MIDI control surface is. This image here does not accurately represent the Cuneo, but it's a default image that Reason placed there since it doesn't have a Cuneo picture available. Now that we've got our MIDI control surface set up, the first thing we need to do is create an instrument. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to instruments, I'm going to choose the Redrum drum computer, which is a legendary, fun, and easy uh, drum machine. And I'm going to make a quick little beat here. Let's see, let's do this. Make it a little more interesting. And uh, we need to add a snare. So we're going to do that. So to keep things interesting while we're going forward with our creation here. So now that this is done, uh, what we need to do next is um, we need to um, tell Reason to go into MIDI map mode. And the way you do that is by going to the options section, the options menu, and you go down to what's called remote override edit mode. And when you select this, you'll notice that all of the parameters that you can modify using a MIDI controller will show up, uh, they'll, they'll be highlighted with a little yellow knob in this particular case. If I double click the parameter which I want to change, and in this particular case, it's the kick drum pitch, you'll notice a little rotating lightning bolt. I'm going to then select the controller that I want to use and you'll notice that the lightning bolt stops and it turns red and that means that the MIDI control parameter has been assigned to this particular function within the instrument. What's cool about the Cuneo, well let me do this first, now we're going to leave remote, remote override edit mode and uh, I can control that parameter with the Cuneo and what's cool about this that I was about to say a minute ago is that I'm not turning a pot, which you would traditionally use. I'm using a swipe pad and moving my finger across the swipe pad to change that parameter. And you can hear that change as I move it. So let's just pitch it down right here. And the next thing I want to do is quickly record the automation. So I want my playback marker to be at zero. And I'm going to start my recording. And I'm going to edit the parameter. And what we just did is created a filtered, uh, I'm sorry, a, an automated pitch on our kick using a MIDI controller, the Cuneo in this case. And now we've got this interesting um, automated pitch, uh, ki pitched kick. So I hope this helps you. Um, Virtually all the parameters in uh, Reason instruments are uh, assignable to a MIDI controller. And I hope that this helps you to uh, take your creative loop creation and your creative music composing and writing to uh, another step. That's it for now. This is Tanisha signing off. Talk to you next time.